It's good they do now. Thank you, Derricka. The Senate has a deal, but will it go anywhere? Early this morning, the Senate passed a bill that could avoid the fiscal cliff. It makes the Bush era tax cuts permanent for families making less than $450,000 a year. And it provides another year of extended unemployment benefits for 2 million people. But Republican House members are considering making amendments to the measure, like adding more spending cuts. And if that happens, then the bill has to head back to the Senate where it could stall, or who knows what and could happen. It just goes around and around and around. Keeps going. All right, well, even with a deal in doubt, Wisconsin's political leaders, they have some thoughts about the Senate solution. Fox 6's Mike Lowe has more in tonight's political lowdown. The U.S. Senate's fiscal cliff deal prompts a political response from Washington. To Wisconsin. This looks like a clear win for Obama and the Democrats and a loser for taxpayers. It's not about political victories for the president or for somebody else. It's about whether or not uh, what gets done is right for the country. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says any tax increase is a bad deal for taxpayers. If they listen to the people back home, nobody thinks that we should be paying higher taxes when we're in the middle of a very bad economy. Uh, and unfortunately, this deal is the biggest tax increase in decades, and it's going to have a major dampening effect on our economy. The deal would allow taxes to increase on affluent Americans, those with household incomes above $450,000 a year. The deal also temporarily stops the sweeping spending cuts called for under the fiscal cliff plan. Voss says that delay will hamper Wisconsin's ability to plan a budget. We have been planning for if and when the fiscal cliff happens and we have reductions in spending. Here, all they've done is really say we won't have an answer for you till February. The fiscal cliff was a Republican idea. It was a man-made problem. Milwaukee County's Democratic Party chairman says the fiscal cliff is the wrong issue to debate. With the country's unemployment rate still near 8%, Sasha Cheda says Congress should focus on the government's role in job creation. The real fight in this country has to be over how we're going to get people back to work. Cutting taxes for the wealthy, we've tried it for 10 years. These Bush tax cuts have been in effect for 10 years, and it hasn't put people back to work. And under the Senate solution, the middle class is not completely saved from tax increases. While the Bush tax cuts remain intact, the income tax cut will expire, meaning a worker earning $50,000 a year will likely see his or her taxes go up by about $1,000. Speaker Robin Voss says one of his biggest goals as he leads the next legislative session here in Wisconsin is a state income tax for Wisconsin families. Back to you. Safe to say, more to come. Thank yeah. you, Mike. New Year's Eve is over, and a lot of sheriff's departments are saying not bad. Mm -hmm. Relatively quiet on the roads last night. But not necessarily in Milwaukee County. That's not what they're saying there. Much different story. I'm Ira Sanchez.